Last time, we finished one of the shower walls in the bathroom and installed the flower bottle light in the kitchen. Stay tuned as we continue working on the additions to the main house. I'm putting on a door handle, a one that has a lock. But I'm gonna put the locking part on the outside of the door so you trust people to lock it for you. <laughs> With Garen and Ellie getting married, we've got a lot of family coming in. So we'd like to get that second bathroom. Get it yeah. functional. I'm using half inch as a curtain rod for the shower curtain. Half inch rod here is 24 inches. It'll fit inside up above at the correct height. It'll be up there and then it'll like wrap around the door or something? It'll go around that top of that board right there. I see, okay. The idea here was just to get this 45 degrees so we can get the curtain to go back and around the other side. I'm gonna put the curtain rod in first and then that'll tie the two tops together. He used uh, metal piping over across there like that metal tubing you can get. And used a few end caps and a few elbows and got it wrapped around there. That should work out good for the shower curtain. We're looking forward to family coming in. We're looking forward to Garen's wedding day, Garen and Ellie. It's gonna be fun to have a lot of people here too. Now we've been using the flooring for our ceilings. We're gonna also put that in for the siding here to run up against this and around this. So time to fill these in. Shower thing? No, no, that's just the <laughs> liner. <laughs> <laughs> Gary wants to take his time. He's looking to do his own countertops in this roundy cabinets in there. So because we needed a sink in the bathroom, he decided to go on the internet, just try to find something real quick. And he, he found one made out of two by fours and plywood. And we already had the sink. We already had the faucet. He just kind of threw together a little uh, temporary sink. Yeah, it looks really great. Uh, it's it's a, definitely a functional one. It's <laughs> functional. It, it works in there, but not really quite. It's perfect. It's perfect for, for the makeshift sink. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready for our first testing of our water here? So uh, hopefully there's no leaks, right? It's like if you had to wipe down the countertops, it would be just, it's just no, all. That would be no. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you'd be dabbing. That's what you'd be doing, or you'd get splinters. <laughs> it was fun to use it though, sure. wasn't it? It is, it's like, it's a fun little feel in there, you know? Like it's, yeah. yeah. And even now it is still fun. Yeah. I'm it makes really really everything excited. else look really polished, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know the age-old tradition of you know feeding the other person the cake and then they smash the cake in the face? We knew that the cake experience between the two of them would definitely, Garen and her are both <laughs> teasers and competitive. Yes. And there was no <laughs> way. Happened. Well, Ellie was all gung-ho with it, but Garen didn't quite do it to her, but it was fun to watch. <laughs> it was. <laughs> We saw on uh, Pinterest, I think it was. These are the um, fixtures for a steampunk kind of a lamp where we have four lights setting up with pipe. Doing the wire here? 
Yeah, now we're pulling in some wire. I had been looking at these to see if we could find something we could use above the sink. Yeah, we got one half of it built. Gary ran out and got the, all the piping pieces for mm -hmm. that, put the puzzle together. Ah, for the light. Ooh. And then the dart was on top of it. That is cool. The picture I saw, I actually had the larger mason jars and then it had the little Edison lamp in there, oh. which is really, really cute. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want that lighting in the bathroom. So we decided to go with the shorter mason jar and the little light bulb in there. So these are the, this is gonna be the light and then the bulb will go in the middle of that. I love the look of the metal and the mason jar and it's just such a, I don't know, it's contemporary but still yeah. farmish type look. Oh, the light, that's just cool. And each jar is gonna be at the bottom. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. You know what's funny is that finished up that shower. Nobody used that shower. Oh. So it's still not used oh. because oh. they ended up using the outdoor shower because yeah. that's so fun to use. It is so um, fun. <laughs> so and the weather was nice. It was so. perfect. It was perfect outdoor shower weather. I'm glad they, they enjoyed it as much as we do. <laughs> so we're plugging away on the stucco on the walls and uh, I think we should have a race. I think we're getting fast enough we can have a race. A race? A race. Interesting. We got like all of us together and we all get a bucket. Whoever can cover the most distance, the quickest. I don't smoothest. think you guys should put me into a competitive atmosphere with Cobb. Because I'm messy as it to begin with. Like, can you imagine me in a race? I don't think so. <laughs> I'd stuck on the ground real nicely though. <laughs> <laughs> don't look. Don't look. Hey, why? Don't. So, so are you glad we're not racing? Is that what you're saying? I'm very glad. Just, just go over there. Just, just go. <laughs> so I'm just making it, you feel better about your job. So I don't think that one house we've ever done the same mm -hmm. as far as our cob mixtures and our stucco mixers. And we really like this mixture right now. That's kind of been our our new favorite. It, it's kind of a stucco, but it also has um, a kind of a too. cob stucco almost. Yeah, it's a, it's a. It's, it's kind of like a soil cement. Um, yeah. Stucco. There was a, a soil stuck, cement a type of cup. Cup. Soil cement cob. Yeah, it is. We like to use the cement on all the outside of the buildings. When it rains and stuff, it won't tear out the cob. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just easier to throw a little cement in. It doesn't cost much money, but it's just a little bit in the bucket each time we do. All right, mom, what you up to? Water and paintbrush, just to smooth our walls out. We found that we like that. Get all the little any little lumpies out. going to be starting their new life now together. They have some earthbag ideas that we'll be sharing with you soon. We've been gathering up resources for them to take, filling up a flatbed and all kinds of fun stuff. It's going to be, it's it's going to be gonna enjoyable be a lot to share that. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned for next week as we continue on with the kitchen addition and the bathroom. We look forward to seeing you next Friday. Bye. 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 Thank you. Oh, thank you. I got you. Thank you. I got you. Anytime, yeah. you just let me know. I got you. Okay. Okay. Got you covered. Well. Cute. I gotta turn the water off again. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Um, you got that light installed for us? Not yet, it's just a recording, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get that. I'm gonna get that light installed. Don't worry. I'm not going over there, bro. Sharing with you soon. Uh, please don't eat my chicken, dog. I think he just literally walked over there and they just, like, out of the corner of their eye, they saw it and they're like, ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's all that happened. Okay, because that didn't sound right. He's like, what? What, what? is it? What happened? What happened? <laughs>